Developers of new eVTOL aircraft say these electric-powered, highly automated vehicles have the potential to transform air transportation. BJT Editorial Director Jennifer Leach English recently had the chance to try out the cabin of one of the new breed of aircraft, along with AIN Senior Editor Charles Alcock, who has been closely tracking the bold promises made by advocates of what's called advanced air mobility. Charlie, I feel like I've just arrived in the future. What is this? What is this aircraft? This is the future, Jen, and it's the near future. This is a new type of aircraft that's going to transform the way we move around, particularly urban areas. It's called an EVATOL aircraft, electric, vertical takeoff and landing. And as soon as, say, 2025, 2026, this could be part of the travel equation. And what is it, how, how far could I take this? Is this well, a jet? Yes and no. It is jet technology in the sense that it has ducted fans engines. But the significant thing is that they're installed in the wing and a thing called a canard, which is a small wing, and the whole thing tilts so it can land and take off vertically and then once it's in the air, fly horizontally. And that's the thing that completely sets it apart from anything we've had before. And what would be the benefit to a jet like this? Why would people, why is this Okay, the several, several benefits. Number one, it's going to be able to land and operate from places that no current fixed wing aircraft can, and also where helicopters could struggle to operate because they're just too noisy. So the other key thing about this is it's electric. It's powered by 30 electric motors. So it's incredibly quiet and it's incredibly clean. And the theory is it will be allowed to operate in urban areas. And at, for the time being, given the limitations of batteries, it won't fly more than about 175 miles. But it's going to be able to, because of the access it gets, it will be able to completely free up the way people move around. The business model is that these Evertol aircraft are going to be sold to operators. In some cases, they're going to be airlines. So American Airlines and Delta are both ordering this type of aircraft. But also, um, business jet operators are starting to show an interest, and they might add them to their fleet. Lately, private aviation has attracted considerable opposition and even hostility from those who believe its impact on the environment at a time of increasingly damaging climate change cannot be justified. Electric aircraft could potentially reshape this debate. Can you speak about what I assume are the environmental benefits as well as sound? Is yeah. It, will it be loud? Uh, no, it will certainly not be loud, but I'm glad you asked about the environment because that is so important. As you know, more and more people are concerned about the impact on the, the health of the Earth that they have when they travel. Again, this is an electric aircraft. Uh, it's not going to burn any fossil fuel. It's not going to emit carbon. So it's going to be clean. And, and the hope is that this will win around, you know, some of the people who object to private aviation on environmental grounds. You asked about sound. This is going to be extraordinarily quiet. Um, these are just electric motors, 30 between the front and the back. And the noise will be nothing like a jet engine. And it will be nothing like a helicopter where you get kind of a thudding noise. With the new EVATOL aircraft heading towards type certification by air safety regulators, the aviation industry is taking steps to bring the new vehicles into commercial service. And eventually, would this be something that an individual could have on yes. their yeah. roof? Potentially. I mean, you'd have to be pretty well healed uh, to do that. Um, so, for example, among the early buyers for this Lilium jet are a couple of private aviation companies, Evolari and Air Dynamic. They're going to offer the aircraft for private charter, but in some cases, they'll offer them to private owners and they will manage them for their private owners. NetJets, we all know NetJets, the fractional ownership company, they have expressed an interest in buying up to 150 of these Lilium jets. And the theory is that they would mix them in with their fleet. So you could potentially have, you know, a much larger jet that would fly you further, but then you could also use the Lilium jet Evertol perhaps to get you from your home to the airport or to do local trips that you just couldn't possibly do in the business jet. Okay, and what would that mean pilot-wise? That is going to be a challenge because we all know there's a pilot shortage at the moment. This aircraft and, and all of these EVATOL aircraft will only have one pilot, not two pilots. That will be perfectly legal. And the controls for these aircraft are highly, highly automated. So the theory is that you wouldn't necessarily need such experienced pilots to, uh, to operate these aircraft. One day, 
Not soon, but one day the talk is these could be completely autonomous, no pilots, or perhaps piloted from the ground. Right, and so what is the actual reality of what year we would be seeing this? Well, you know, a lot of the companies developing these things are very aggressive startups who've made bold promises. Originally they said they would be in service by 2024, now that's already slipped to the back end of 25. My personal belief is this, that at a fairly small scale, a handful of these companies, and I believe Lilium Jet will be one of them, um, will get a good numbers of aircraft in service by about 2026, and then gradually towards the end of the decade, this will this will ratchet up. I think what you're going to see is there'll be a sort of fear of missing out factor. So people will see what's happening in Los Angeles and Paris, and they'll say, hey, why don't we have those things? We need those too. But if I'm totally honest, will, will this be mass transport? Yes, someday, but probably in the 2030s. Right.